In this video, guys, we're gonna talk about the ascending triangle chart pattern. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So this video, we are talking about the chart pattern known as the ascending triangle. Okay, let's talk about it. Well, let's drill down into it. Let's understand how it forms, how we can trade it, all that kind of good stuff. Let me just turn my iPad off. Okay, cool. What is it? So the ascending triangle, we can use pretty much on a one minute, five minute, 15, whatever we're trading. If we're on a short time frame, day trading, scalping, all the way up to uh, you know, a swing trading strategy. It's the theory behind the supply demand imbalance, as with all these chart pans, that makes it the trade idea or trade setup that it is. Now, let's have a look exactly the kind of um, <clears throat> the attributes of this compared to others. And we can just see that I just wiped the board with <clears throat> with some solution. So hopefully we can still see that. Okay, so the theory being this ascending triangle is that we have um, a, a resistance level at the top, but that's flat. In other words, you know, this is a really thick resistance level here, you know, resistance, really thick, price is unable to cap through it. And that might have been going on for a long time. That might have been based from a long way back. We don't know, but the point is, you know, you've got all these points that just can't push any higher. For whatever reason, Either buyers are not interested in paying higher than that, they don't perceive that as value, or sellers perceive it as value right on that point and they're not letting it go any 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 one or two ticks higher. Okay, I appreciate that this is a, a really kind of simplified version. There's a lot of noise stripped out for this uh, example, but you get the idea. The point is the price isn't able to go any higher. It's struggling to push up. Classical, it's pretty standard resistance stuff, but the the ascending triangle, where the ascending triangle kind of comes into play, is that we have an uptrend below it, i.e. higher lows, pushing up to this point here, where something has to happen, something has to, something has to give. Now, it's generally considered as a bullish pattern. All right, now why is it considered as a bullish pattern? It's considered bullish pattern because generally speaking, if you, if you think about and um, what's going on behind the scenes. And I always like to do this with my chart patterns. I don't just like to look at it and consider it as a as price. I like to think of it in terms of people behind price. Groups of people taking some sort of action, some sort of trade action based on what they see. Now, what I see here is this. Um, and by the way, my interpretation of it. If you guys have got anything different, uh, any comments about this, then you know, stick them below. Always interested to hear your thoughts on these things. So. <clears throat> You know, price is moving up, high lows, classical stuff. Why do we get high lows, supply demand imbalance? For whatever reason, at this point, buyers consider jumping a little bit, a little bit more aggressive than last time, a little bit more early than last time, or sellers aren't being so aggressive and pushing it so low. Whatever, whichever side of the coin it is, it's causing this scenario. But still, as with the ascending triangle suggests, the top of it is a solid roof. It just cannot bash its way above it until we get to the point here. Now, the textbooks are gonna tell us that what we should be doing is buying a breakout here. A nice aggressive move out as it pushes up, forms that kind of point of the triangle, and then it has nowhere to go. Uh, and, we, and we kind of, the sellers have just, they've had enough of it. They've had enough of it. Buyers are stepping up higher and higher and higher until it gets to the point where buyers are stepping up at the resistance. And the assumption is that they're more aggressive. The assumption is that once it breaks, we're going to get high volume, we're going to get a pickup in volume, the whole thing's just going to push to the upside and we're going to get ridden with a nice long trade and off it's going to go. Obviously, the real world is a little bit different to that. So what are some strategies and ideas of getting involved in it? Always I would align myself with that theory that if we have this, and bearing in mind as well, you know, where do we see this pattern? Is this pattern in kind of a really big range, in which case maybe that resistance is not so significant? Um, is this pattern happening? We've got a multi-year bull trail, or bull, up, bull market uptrend, however you want to say it, and this is kind of happening over the past few weeks and we're coming to this kind of point here. Maybe there's an extra catalyst like some earn, good earnings or something for a stock or some good news or, or whatever it may be. You know, that would add more weight to it for me and I'd still be interested in buying that. Um, something else to add as well, if I can get a red pen to differentiate a bit. If we had this point, um, let me wipe that off. <clears throat> if we have this point here where it comes to the point and we're looking to buy, now what you might get is you might get a little fake out to the downside first. If we see that fake out to the downside, you can see that, I'll make it a bit thicker. 
Fake out's the downside first. That's gonna do a couple of things. Number one, it's gonna suck in a lot of shorts who are thinking of being clever and selling that resistance. Number two, it's gonna probably stop out some longs who may have had a stop under this kind of uptrend level. Um, and number three, um, what it's gonna do is give us a confirmation. Because if we get that and then we get a revisit to highs and we start to get a break, I, you know, I'm all aboard that kind of thing because we've tested, I mean, we've got the pattern behind us that says, hey, this is more likely to go in our direction. We, we, we can see the logic behind it. We know that this is the kind of thing we're looking for, everything lining up for us. Then we get a second confirmation, which is, hey, we've advertised for lower price down here. Sellers haven't really got engaged with it. Sellers haven't really dove, jumped on this and driven it to the ground. Buyers are still perceived, there's still buyers around. Even though they've got this pinnacle, there's still buyers there. And very quickly, they've stepped in and thought, hey, I've got it at this price level I was at however many days ago, or an hours ago, whatever the price time may be. And I perceive it as value. Yes, I'm going to hit it. And of course, the, the suddenness of that, the urgency of that, you're going to get some high volume here. Excuse the drawing, you get the idea, you get some high volume here. Then when we're buying the break, it's far much more powerful because not only have we got extra confirmation we've got people who are who had a little nibble on the short side we've got people it just it's just giving us a kind of x-ray vision x-ray view into what's happening with the supply demand and who's on the sidelines that's basically telling us hey uh any buyers out there interested in buying this it's advertising at a little lower price if all of a sudden that shoots straight back up we're advertising for sellers we're advertising the buyers buyers are what other ones are saying yes me 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 and they're the ones that are going to push the upside so i like to see that little kind of extra onto this ascending triangle strategy is that okay buying the break all very well and good but sometimes you're going to get a real world example where it just dither a little bit it might just test the downside and then start to go and then for me that's a, a slightly better a proposition as a trade anyway guys i hope you like the video give a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so to, for more videos from me and other traders on this channel good trading take care see you in the next one Bye bye